the main advice I guess in the game we're all in, whatever creative you are, is just to keep going, like just be persistent. Literally just keep going <laughs> and keep going and going and going. My name is Maria Hatling and I'm a fine artist focusing on paintings and prints. A painting or a painting series starts with looking at colour stories. Colour has this ability to convey emotions. It sort of speaks directly to the soul. I'm always drawn to colour combinations and things that look a bit worn out. So it's always the mundane or things that have had a life or is a bit worn and ragged. These different colour combinations just pops out. They're already framed and they're nearly like I can just pick them as ready-made postcards. By using the colour stories, it's more chance that I not just over and over again use my favourite colours, but hopefully create things that also speaks to different colour personalities. I work in series. For a long time, my kind of working title for a series was The Key to Happiness. At the moment, I'm pursuing this word close. It has to do a little bit with the year we've been through. I use my art making to try and make sense of the world around me. The world used to be your oyster and for a year or so, everything became so close and you had to be together with your family, maybe a bit more than you normally would <laughs> like to. And then all inspiration had to come from very close. My art is about how we as human beings interact and relate to each other within the modern world. The more chaotic parts of my paintings represent the ever-shifting world with all its beauty, but also its chaos. Some people have said they see the inside of uh, motherboards. Some people have said they see cities with the cranes. You put something into the world and the viewer will have their way of seeing and they will take from the artwork whatever they actually want to take, regardless of what was my intention. I don't want to dictate what they experience. It's a collaboration 